Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me today for coffee and the Word. That time each day that we examine a small portion of God's Word and then we apply it to our life so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So grab that mug and let's get going. Our title today, Avalanche. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon a rock. The rain came down, the storms rose, the winds blew, and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. The rain came down, the storms rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great clash. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. <clears throat> Avalanches can happen when heavy snow accumulates on a steep slope on top of older, weaker snow. Eventually, the weight of the new snow is too much for the less stable layer underneath, and it gives way. Heavy slabs of snow slide down the slope, eventually tumbling and crashing to a halt further down the mountain. It's a fearsome side of the snow. No one would build a house on top of snow in an avalanche zone, except the foolish person. Jesus described in Matthew 7 is not so far off from that. He builds on the unstable base. Not surprisingly, during a storm his house falls with a great crash. We've all seen news footage of homes destroyed in violent weather. How devastating <coughs> excuse me, it must be. That's the image of those who hear Jesus' words but do not act on them. Now think about how it feels to be inside a solid, well-built house during a wild rainstorm. Snug, safe, warm, dry. We can hear the wind and the rain buffeting the house and yet we are protected. That is an exact picture of what those who hear Jesus' words and live by them. Building on a strong foundation may prevent the storms of life, but it does provide a safe shelter. Thank you, Lord, for speaking so clearly in the Scripture. Please help us to act on your words. We are yours, and we, will, we yield to your wisdom. Be blessed, and have a grace-filled day.